Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and I did tell you guys the raids are going to be coming pretty soon. I, like I said, I would have gave it like a week or two before they came. Uh, this is, we are currently in Season 0, and this is the very first raid, Ragnar Break. And it's pretty much going to be Christmas themed. And before any of you guys start labeling any of these characters that are on this, Oh, so this is on the Facebook. They recently posted this yesterday. But, like I said, before you guys start naming these waifus and stuff, these three are all male, by the way. Yep, all traps. So, good luck with that. I'm just going to ruin your little fantasy right there. You know what? I'm just going to... I'm going to save you, actually. Because <laughs> a lot of players thought this character was female. No, no, this is pure trap. Yeah. But we're going to be going over the characters also. I wonder how everybody else feels about this. Well, actually, I think I looked at it and a few people were complaining about the game being like pay to win and shit like that. When it's, it's actually really not. It really isn't. Uh, well, I guess depends on how you build your team, if anything. So we're going to go over the um, characters here. Um, first things first, um, this site is not well it's translated so we're gonna go over to the um, wikipedia site that has a better translation i just wanted to show you guys this the picture of the default and the awakened this is what krampus looks like when he is awakened this is what he looks like when he's not as for here krampus is a forest type and offensive and five star he has a pretty good standing with the korean base so that's actually pretty good uh, hold up. Let me go back to where I was. All right. So Krampus, his leader is skill damage is increased. Well, slight skill damage is increased by 10% for forest types. His tap deals damage to one type and it deals additional damage to a water type. Okay. Deals damage plus type damage twice wait deals damage plus tap damage two times to two random enemies and absorb damage so basically you're gonna be using this damage then you're gonna be using this twice afterwards you're gonna absorb damage from it okay that's actually pretty decent and attack all so also remember this could not be ours uh our krampus could have a skill change just like uh mott did hold up let's see if i can find her because our mod has freeze well remove freeze instead of remove stun all right let's go to the child here let's go to i guess he's down here right uh, she is confusingly not here. Where the hell is she? Unless her name is different or something. Hold on. I knew she was in here. For some reason, she just didn't pop up. But yeah. So instead of remove stun and petrify, she has remove freeze or petrify. For some reason but everything else is pretty much hers the the one we have now so yeah still basically the same except for her also her leader skill has been changed to um i think it was hill hill recovery for lights yeah this has been changed she no longer has this for us but you never know if this could be ours in the future you know you never know if she can get like a rework or a buff so do keep that in mind, if anything. So yeah, we could have like some skill changes for Krampus. As for Santa Claus here, this is Santa Claus, the guy with the bulge. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anywho, <laughs> Santa is gonna be five star and a water type. And I don't know why I went down there. Does have a very good stand-in with the Korean fan base though. But let's go to the Santa and see what's up with you. There you are. So, 
Krampus. His leader skill, skill gauge charge for enemies are decreased by 18%. That's actually, that's actually pretty decent, to be honest, if you're looking for somebody to make them charge way slower. But let's see. Deals damage to one enemy and does additional damage if that enemy is a support type. All right. The slide skill has a 70% chance to freeze an enemy and they are unable to act and immune to damage. So you're basically trapping them inside ice to where your characters can't attack them. So I wonder if defense or can hit them, but yeah, I guess that wouldn't be a thing, huh? But still, it's definitely going to be quite troublesome when your characters are getting frozen. <laughs> And they're unable to do anything for that long. But let's see the drive. The drive has a 90% chance of freezing. And it lasts for 20 seconds to uh, 3 enemies. So this is actually good for separating enemies. Especially like PvP. So you having like, let's say a change in a mod. That are just constantly causing your team trouble. Or you have a Diana. You can freeze the Diana or the and the mod, you know, have an easier time killing the rest of the team without the healers or support. It just really depends on who Santa wants to freeze, though. That's the, that's the only thing. <laughs> but it keeps them from doing anything. So freeze can actually be pretty good unless you don't unless you don't freeze mod and she just takes that off and then it's just been a waste of time of getting that. <laughs> Like I said, this is subject to change, so take it with a grain of salt. So this is Rudolph. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. Why Why does every character here besides to be shirtless? I I don't know. It's like a, like a kinky Christmas for some reason. But here is Rudolph. <laughs> so let's see what Rudolph has. It seems Rudolph is probably, yeah, a little bit more favored than Santa right now. A little bit. But it's probably kind of like a 50-50. Four star fire. Okay, four star fire. And increases damage for all and for all allies. Okay, that's not that bad for a leader skill. This is also four star, so it could also go to twenty percent when you evolve that, huh? Okay, that actually isn't a bad leader, but his tab damage is it deals damage to one enemy, and attack is increased for two turns on an enemy or well, on an ally with the highest attack. I don't know why I was struggling so hard. <laughs> All right, so deals damage to one enemy, gives a threat. Oh, so swap defense and attack for 20 turns to all allies. So am I taking the defense and attack from the enemy? And putting it on us, or is it just like swapping all of our stuff? That that's confusing. That 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 bothers me. I need to know what that means. But the drive it deals damage to three random enemies and increases damage to three allies with the highest attack. All right, so that's gonna be Rudolph. But once again, like I've said. Take it well with a grain of salt because we all could get like different versions and different skills and pretty much all of these different changes that they're giving us like different variations from the other types of uh, versions of Destiny Child. But yeah, definitely going to be saving this site. So now I can come back here and give you guys a pretty much an update on like certain characters that are coming to the game. Hopefully they keep this updated as well. Because that's definitely going to help me out, helping you guys out. So, yeah, my first impression on 
this event and looking at the characters who do i think is going to be the most useful probably krampus for sure just because naturally krampus has like this really good thing against ward attackers and that could be good for um barry um i think her name is spelled oh no it's bari that's what it is b-a-r-i She's one of the raids too that you guys have probably seen. It's the really thick woman with the um, um, talismans that float around her. Yeah, her. Which will come to us sooner or later. I'm thinking that's going to be in like the far future though. But Krampus can actually be really good against her if we do have this. So I would recommend farming Krampus for like any water raids that come on in the future. And it seems like you would be like really good for those as well. And for taking out a lot of a lot of enemies as well. So that, that could actually be pretty helpful. So with that said, I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of an update on my account right now and how I'm doing. Let me go ahead and turn off monitor and turn on Nox right now. Right now I am farming and getting that out of the way. Let me go ahead and stop that now because I think it's almost done. Oops, that is not the right thing I'm grabbing. I've just been sitting, letting it sit here and auto farm for me the whole night. He's almost done. Ah, uh, he's almost done. He's almost there. I got this guy from a free summon, by the way. From one of the free daily summons that we get. Each time the game refreshes. Uh, I was actually pretty happy to get him because he's actually a really good damage dealer. But let me go ahead and click my rewards here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus. But yeah, once he's done, I'm going to awaken him. Right now we got Dana fully um, done. She no longer needs to be worked on. She has the most power out of anybody just because of her defense and stuff. Davi's catching up too in damage. Like at first you guys saw her score was like actually pretty down there. But her score is actually starting to come up next to um, a few of the other characters here. I decided to work on Jupiter because Jupiter could actually be really good for the Krampus event just because he has the whole defense down thing so I was just like you know what screw it I might as well go in and use him he attacks the person with the lowest defense and creates bleed here which I'm not really sure if I want to actually build into okay so that only increases by two so by the time I have that they'll probably be like I want to say around eight percent or seven percent maybe or higher i'm not sure i don't want to put it into there put all of it in there right now because i'm still gonna need quite a bit for awakening you he's almost there like i said all right let's just, let's just do that put that back <laughs> i wonder if i can Get you there with just giving you all these that you just farmed for actually i probably could or even get you near most of the time i don't do this just because i can get onyx off of it but i'll make an exception this time and then i normally read their story too so and this is why I auto farm. <laughs> Just because you get a whole bunch of resources for it. Oh god, everybody's sending me stuff. <laughs> like always, I'll give you guys another glance at my um, code. This is my um, account ID, so you guys can add me for friends. If you guys actually want to. So now... I have another S rank character done. Now I can either start on Pantheon or Jupiter, which I'll probably end up finishing Pantheon first, then working on Jupiter. Just because the only reason I also like Jupiter too is just because of that, and he removes a buff. 
so that can also help me out in the future if any characters are like using regens or stuff like that and I need them gone so yeah that's also another thing so we got a quite a bit of things to catch up on which is gonna be really fun yay it's <laughs> a lot of farming to do I'm not sure if I want to raise this character or not I might use her as duplicate food just to get um just to get him to six star I might six star him first just to have him as my main attacker for our mostly um, raid events. Just to have like that neutral damage dealer. Just since he's um, dark and doesn't have like a resistance. So he'll actually be pretty decent for that. That's pr that's mainly why I brought him up. And plus he helps uh, Davi finish off like weaker enemies as well. And yeah, my, my cr crystals are still going up into the next event. I'm being stingy, dude. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not breaking, even though I've broken a little bit. <laughs> I've definitely broken a little bit, and may have summoned once or twice, or even used it just to buy back into dungeons. I, I actually have been using it to buy back into dungeons, which I'm probably gonna do tonight too, just because all these guys are up. The only thing I ended up doing today was um this and buying back into this is yeah a big no-no for me I'm good that's not even worth it in my opinion but yeah I'm gonna be doing this twice at least so yeah I'm gonna be using a lot of crystals today unfortunately but I think it'll be worth it for sure in my personal opinion did not have to go back and do this and buy more and it costs so much for more but yeah that's pretty much Everything I wanted to talk about, guys, um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Tell me how you guys feel about these characters and from their skills that could possibly be. And tell me how you guys would fit them into a team. And what team are you going to try and um, fight with? Because I know a lot of you guys have been trying to get... Um, where is she? Where is she? Where is she? There she is. No, a lot of you characters you players have been trying to get this character just for her as well well just for fighting uh, Krampus and stuff or just having it in general so yeah no a lot of people have been trying to get her I don't, I don't know why because she doesn't attack multiple people and different I think she only hits one for each character I don't think she just like doubles attack or maybe I'm wrong but anywho Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Swear it's gonna get better real soon. Don't let anyone tell you what you should do. I got a clear view. We're gonna make it soon. Just keep pushing through. Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? Yo, what you got to lose? What you got to lose?